Now, the 2019 Easter bombings were one of the worst in Sri Lanka's history. Six coordinated suicide bombings across the country had left everyone shocked. The churches and hotels had been targeted. Later that day, two smaller explosions had also jolted a housing complex. An estimated 269 people ended up losing their lives in the attack. The incident has raised eyebrows about Sri Lanka's security situation. But no concrete evidence had come forth about who was responsible. Four years later, a British television report has now made a chilling claim that it was the Sri Lankan intelligence that had been complicit in these bombings. The man has been interviewed by Channel 4 and he claims to have arranged for a secret meeting between an Islamic State extremist and a top Sri Lankan intelligence official back in 2018. He claims that the meeting was to hatch a plot to jeopardize the security situation in Sri Lanka. Now, soon after the bombings, the security camera footage was released of the perpetrators and the man claims that that's when he realized that the suicide bombers were in fact the same people who had met with the intelligence official. Now, the claims do not end here. Reportedly, there was also a lot of politics that was involved. Now, the intelligence official believed that creating a national security crisis was the only way to bring back the Rajapaksas back to power. And that is exactly what happened. Now, the bombings, in fact, took place in April 2019. And within the next seven months, Gotabaya Rajapaksa was sworn in as the president. And his brother, Mahindra Rajapaksa, was chosen as the prime minister. The Rajapaksas have been accused of obstructing law enforcement processes. It was quickly understood that the National Tawheed Jamaat, the group that was claimed to be behind the bombings, probably had been contacted by the Rajapaksas. Now, this is a group that was inspired by the Islamic State, but accusations now suggest that the Rajapaksas had clear association with the NTJ, and they had made it extremely hard for the authorities to arrest its leaders prior to the bombings. The Rajapaksas had even blocked a full investigation after the attack. Now, these shocking claims have prompted for an official probe in Sri Lanka. Ronald Vikramasinghe's government will be appointing a parliamentary committee. The Labour Minister has said that the details on the investigation will, of course, be announced pretty soon. Gotabaya Rajapaksa has branded the claim as an anti-Rajapaksa narrative and has dismissed it as absurd. Rajapaksa claims that he did everything possible to help the Roman Catholic community post the bombings in the churches. All right, now to give us more perspective, perspective in terms of what, of course, has been happening in this investigation, we're being joined by Mr. Javed Yusuf. A former Sri Lankan diplomat is joining us live from Colombo. Now, Mr. Yusuf, this, these are some really chilling claims that have in fact been put forth. That is being said that those who carried out the bombings on Easter in Sri Lanka back in 2019 may have had associations with the Rajapaksas. Now, these, these are claims that say that the bombings were in fact carried out to create the conditions that would bring back the Rajapaksas to power Tell us what is happening on the investigation front to back these claims. Yes, uh, that is precisely the problem. You know, now it's four and a half years since this uh, tragic event took place. And the investigations have not been to the satisfaction of most people. Mm -hmm. Because there are many uh, loose ends, many leads which are, don't seem to have been followed. So as a result, when a claim like this comes up, it again creates uh, reverberations uh, in society. So whatever it is, this uh, video does uh, come out with certain new things, but they are still remain at the level of claims. So it, they need to be investigated as much as the rest of the whole uh, incident has to be investigated. You know, when the... Easter bombings, in fact, happened back then when we were covering this story. At that time, there were clear accusations that were leveled that the Sri Lankan intelligence agencies were probably, you know, in, in some ways, at least had been negligent about some of the intelligence lead that they may have had, which resulted in these bombings. And now the claim that is being made is that the Sri Lankan intelligence agencies clearly knew the men 
who went around and carried out these bombings. What, what's in fact being done to the intelligence agencies at least, who may have been negligent and may have not followed up with the leads that they had back then? Well, there are two aspects here. One is, of course, those who committed the crimes. Mm -hmm. The second aspect is that the government of, of the day did not seem to have taken uh, enough or adequate measures right. to prevent, despite intelligence uh, being received. So that has been the subject of a lot of discussion. And in fact, uh, the Supreme Court has issued a verdict uh, naming certain uh, intelligence officials as well as a former president, right. that's President Michael Palacirisena, of being negligent in preventing what happened. All right. Very interesting. Then my final question to you, sir, is this. Because, you know, the allegations quite clearly indicate that those who perpetrated these heinous bombings, you know, on the occasion of Easter, uh, inside of these churches, which resulted in, in the deaths of, you know, hundreds of people, it's being said that they did this to bring the Rajapaksas back to power. This clearly takes the lead that the Rajapaksas may have been in some way involved in what actually transpired on that day. Have the Rajapaksas responded to this? Yes, uh, they have. And of course, they have denied any involvement at all. Uh, this theory has been going around uh, uh, for quite some time. Uh, particularly because uh, former President Gotabe Rajapaksa uh, announced his candidature uh, soon after the bombings and said that he was the answer to solve the security problems that had emerged as a result of the bombings. But none of these have been established. Right. The whole problem is that this investigation has left many loose ends, Absolutely. leads which have not been followed, and it's been a very lethargic and almost an indifferent investigation. Absolutely indeed, because this is something, you know, similar to what, something like this was what was said by the former Sri Lankan President, Maitripala Sirisena, at the time when the incident had happened. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Javed Yusuf, for joining us and getting us all those insights there. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.